A pleasanted man is reflecting on a farming accident that nearly cut off his arm, causing him to lose a large amount of blood and nearly killing him. One year later, he tells the night team's Lee Waldman he's giving back to help others the same way he was helped. The scars run deep along Scott Mussey's arm. It's it's uh, mostly functional. Um, I, I still don't have any nerve feeling in my index finger or my thumb. All things considered, it's a small price to pay after a farming accident April 14th, 2021, nearly took him away from his family. I was almost done working on my little project and uh, I heard a loud noise and it was just like a big pop. His arm was severed down to the bone. Mussy was bleeding heavily. His medical team later said he lost nearly half of his body's blood while his wife, Melissa, applied pressure to the wound. I had conversations with him. I had conversations with the 911 operator. I had conversations with God. Mussy was flown to University Medical Center by San Antonio Air Life. He was given two transfusions of whole blood on the way. I, I can 100% say without that blood, his outcome would have been different. It, it would have been, it would have been, um, obviously a lot more detrimental. Mussey's surgeon told him as a safety protocol, he had to wait before he could donate blood. It's been one year since my accident, and so I'm ready to, to roll up my sleeve today. Mussey's donation also special because it was on the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center's brand new Alex machine. It's kind of our machine that collects the dual uh, donations. It can collect plasma and red blood cells. It has a smaller needle. The STBTC has eight of these machines, which allows them to collect more blood cells and plasma needed, which can help a greater number of patients, giving others like Mussey a second chance. There's things that he would be missing, and we're so grateful that he's not going to have to miss anything. Ruiz with the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center says they'll have the Alex machines on four of their mobile donation sites next month. They'll be able to do plasma only collections, which will give them another option for their mobile procedures. Reporting live, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.